This video will provide an introduction to the TVU Pack receiver interface in live mode. Let's get started with an overview. The TVU Pack receiver has two operating modes, live and record. You can switch the interface between live and record mode by clicking on the mode selection buttons on the lower right hand side. For this video, we will select live. The section on the left is the video source list. This displays a thumbnail of all your TVU Pack devices that are paired with your receiver. A source can be in one of three states. Offline means the source is powered off or has no network connection to the receiver. Camera icon with red symbol means that the source is connected to the receiver but has no active video source. Image thumbnail means that the source is connected to the receiver and has an active video source. A red box around the thumbnail image means the transmitter is live. The IFB indicator is displayed below the transmitter's thumbnail picture. If a TVU Pack transmitter is used with modems that support GPS, you can click on the transmitter name below the IFB indicator to view its GPS information. You can also press Locate All to view a map of all your GPS-supported devices. On the top left of the source list, you can type into this search box to easily find a particular transmitter. Below the source list is the external source list, displaying the incoming external streams you have available. The middle section is the live video preview of your active video source. To the right of the video preview is your audio monitor panel, providing visual monitoring of your audio levels. The bottom section is the data card monitor panel. This panel displays the current status of each transmission connection, including connected USB modems, Ethernet, or Wi-Fi devices for the selected TVU pack device. Red indicates a modem is not connected. Orange means connection is in progress, and green indicates a connection. To access the TVU Pack's remote configuration function, right-click over the monitor histogram and click Configure. Here, you can change the settings of the pack and configure its modems. We explain the remote configuration function in a separate video. Here, you have the connection mode and connection strength indicators. The reset button provides a full power reset for a particular modem on any TVU Pack TM8200 paired to your receiver. On the bottom is the scale button, allowing you to set the scale of all of the histogram graphs displayed. On the top right is the system information, which displays PID number, build version, build date, and record time remaining. The quality histogram shows the total transmission encoding bitrate over a period of time. Change the scale by clicking on the pull-down menu below the histogram. The status panel displays error rate, line quality, and battery status. Transceiver information is shown here displaying the input type and format, output type and format, IFB status, and IFB signal. The two stop buttons ends the live transmission. The button on the upper left functions as a live button once live transmission is stopped. Press this to start or restart a live transmission. Here are your operational mode selection buttons, where each mode has a default bit rate and delay. The sliding bars allow you to manually set the bitrate and delay levels. Below is the CBR or constant bitrate selection and VBR or variable bitrate selection. In most transmission situations, VBR should be selected. We explain operational mode selections in a separate video. You now have a basic understanding of the TVU Pack receiver interface.